today's Microtex uh, tips and, and tutorials we're going to discuss about uh, on how to send an automatic email uh, with your data backup file in uh, Microtech. Alright, so let's start. So open up our Winbox and then check if our emails is uh, properly configured. Go to Tools and Email. You should have your email already uh, filled up here. If not, uh, please uh, watch my uh, previous uh, tutorial on how to set up your uh, email in your inbox. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to use my Gmail account. That's why I have here my uh, server set up as well in Gmail. Okay? And then after that, go to Files. And then lastly, open up our scheduler by going to a system and then scheduler. And then we need to have a working script. So I have it right here. So I'll be posting the script in our video description for your reference as well. So don't you worry. Okay, so let me explain what this uh, script does. So first, it will gonna export a file, which is a data backup file. All right. And then after that, it will gonna send an email uh, with our data backup file. And then uh, the uh, clock in our microtech must be uh, synchronized into our settings in order to make the script too. Okay, so uh, let's go to scheduler and then click on the plus sign. Let's put a name here. I'll be calling this daily backup. And then for the start date, I'll be uh, choosing the base date in order for us to test this in a short while. And then the start time right now, it's 1.57 p.m. in Manila. So I'll be adjusting this to 1.59 for example. And then for the interval here, it's up to you on how uh, frequent this uh, a schedule will take effect. Okay, so if you would like to make this uh, the, uh, backup to happen in every six hours, you put it here zero six or four hours zero four. All right, so this is the hour, this is the minutes, and this is the seconds, the last three zeros right here. Okay, and then for the policy, leave everything uh, everything in blank. I mean uh, by default. And then for the event, we are going to put the reality uh, script. Okay. So let's just put in our email first. I'll then put in the email at email.com. And then let's copy this and paste it right here. Okay, so I'm going to hit apply. And then as you can see, the daily backup is already added in our scheduler. Okay, and then click OK, and then let's open up our clock to see the exact time. Okay, so we have 30 seconds left before the script to run. Okay, so from the file list, as you can see, there's no uh, data backup file created yet, but in the next few seconds, we will see um, an export.src file will be created. Okay, so let's move down. Okay, there she is. It's now in progress. And then there we go. So we have now the export.rsc file created at exactly 13.59.03. Okay, so back to our uh, scheduler, daily backup. All right, so as you can see right now, the run count is now set to one, meaning it already processed the uh, script. Okay, and then let's wait for uh, Gmail to receive our daily backup file. So I'm gonna refresh this. box and as of now it's not here yet okay so uh, let's get back to it in the next couple of minutes 
A few moments later. All right, so we have something here now in our inbox. Let's find out what it is. Okay, so we have here live shop export. And when we open it up, yep, there we go. So we can see now the export.rsc file successfully sent into our email. So I just received it uh, at uh, 201. Okay, so that ends our tutorial for today. I hope uh, you guys uh, like this video. If yes, kindly please subscribe and share to those people who you think will get a big help as well. Okay, so again, this is uh, Webhouse TV. Thank you so much for your time and God bless us all.